Hey, it's Tuesday night. It's very cold and very windy. Tomorrow, we are supposed to wake up to negative 4 Fahrenheit, which is like negative 20 Celsius. And the high tomorrow is going to be about 7 degrees Fahrenheit. A negative, what was that, negative 15? I don't remember. I looked at the little thermometer, but I don't. Ooh, and all the schools around St. Louis metro area in, in the surrounding areas are canceled for tomorrow because it is so cold. If you have pets in this kind of weather, bring them on in. Even if you put them in a garage, make sure that they have a warm place to be. And even the metro buses around St. Louis have set aside some buses not in service so that the homeless can get in out of the cold. It's really bad. Wow. Ran some errands today. I went by the bank and deposited my rolls of pennies. $11 worth of pennies. Woohoo. I uh, went to get a copy of my marriage certificate for some legal purposes. They want to make sure, even though my name has changed, this was back in 1981, that I'm still the same person. So, uh, Then, uh, what did I do then? Oh, I went by a cobbler. I had two pairs of shoes that were basically given to me. I didn't buy them or anything. And the soles were disintegrating. And the cobbler was a professional guy. And uh, he looked at him and he said, those I can't do anything with. And those, I could resole them, but it wouldn't be cost effective. And I said, well, how un, how not cost effective? And he said, $100, $150. Oh. Bye bye shoes. I have enough shoes. I'm getting a pair of backless shoes, hopefully to buy tomorrow, that if they feel really good, I'll get them in a brown also. I'm getting them in black. And that because of my Haglund's deformity and my heel spur and all the problems I have with my heel, I have to wear backless shoes. Now there are times when I absolutely have to wear shoes that have backs and they suggest that you put a lot of cushioning or padding or whatever so that your heel is not irritated. I have like snow boots. They were also given to me, so I didn't buy them. But if it comes to me buying snow boots, I will do a better job of finding some that won't hurt my feet. I intend on having very few things, but very nice things. You know, not just a bunch of crap from the cheapest discount store there is. Or Goodwill. Not that there's anything wrong with Goodwill. It's just that someone my size doesn't have a whole lot of choice you just you have to take what you can get sometimes but I just want to live a simpler but nice life that's my goal one of my goals and I uh, probably have sleep apnea both my brothers have sleep apnea Richard had it he's passed now and David has it he has a machine Richard left behind his machine I thought hmm, I wonder how expensive these machines are $800 for a little binky machine like this? Crap! I have it. And then there's ways that you can buy a new hose for it. And you have to have a prescription for it. You can't just go to the store and buy one. You have to have a prescription, which means you have to go to a doctor, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm toying with getting it all cleaned up and getting new hoses and using it because it's supposed to help you sleep better and you wake up refreshed and your brain feels better and all that. David uses his every night, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. This thing fits on your face like a Minoc, and uh, <laughs> you have to use it every night, and I thought, there's got to be a better system. Basically, what happens is when you're sleeping, and all this stuff in here, and your throat and all that, when you're lying down, it falls in on itself, because the muscles are just real. And that's when you... <sighs> That's where the snoring comes from. It's all the air is trying to get through there and it's vibrating. So I've been looking on YouTube and there is somebody that says playing a didgeridoo will tone up all the face and throat muscles and will help with sleep apnea in a natural way. So 
You know how I like contraptions that make noise. I love things that make noise. And my little piggy here. And my Dr. Evil here. Yes, I'm one of those people that when I'm waiting for a prescription at the drugstore, I go to the toy aisle and I play with all the gadgets that make noise. Why? Because it's fun. So, I was thinking of making my own didgeridoo. I can buy a travel didgeridoo, which is a little thing about this big, for $40. And I thought, hmm... But I can make one from PVC pipe for probably a lot less than that. I may even have a piece of PVC pipe around here that would work. I'll have to look. So I thought, what the hell? It'll be fun. I'll do an instructional video of how to do it. How to do it. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> yes, another thing to keep me from doing what I'm supposed to be doing around here. But that's me. That's me in a nutshell. That's me, the nut, in a shell. Tomorrow is going to Avenue Q, even though it's going to be so bloody cold. As my high school chum's dad, who was from Texas, used to say, it's colder than a tin toilet seat in Siberia. Yep. Imagine getting stuck to a tin toilet seat. Whoa. Yeah, it's going to be... It's like the ice planet of Hoth. I have no Tauntaun. I have a, a ten ton cat, but no Tauntaun. Yeah. That's it today. Upward and onward.